Hi everyone, my name is David Ingalls from Ingalls Computer Services and today we're going to show you how to get a good printout from Gmail. It sounds simple enough but for many people this can be a struggle. Um, what they'll do is they'll um, try to get a printout of their email message and they get an unsatisfactory result. Um, this is an example of what I'm talking about. Um, right here we have um, the email is this part of this page right here and over here we have a lot of wasted space um, this is where we have the inbox and all the different folders but that's about it and it's all white going down here uh, we also notice that down the bottom we're missing some of our message and if you look over here on your email you might find that you're missing some of the text here it got chopped off and all in all your email message is taking up a very small amount of space it means your text has gotten shrunk so you're missing a lot of content here. Um, you don't have the message. You can't see it very well. And when it goes and prints out page two, three, and four, um, you're just it just gets worse. Um, so um, the desirable thing, what we're going to do today, is I'm going to show you a really a very easy thing. What you're looking for is to be able to get your email so it's all on one page. Um, so this is the same email message. We have the whole email message it's taking up the whole page from left to right and top to bottom. And we don't have any missing text. We don't have any uh, white space. And the text is larger because it can fit on the whole page. So this is the desirable result. And as you print pages two, three, and four, they all come out great too. Uh, so what's the secret for avoiding this and instead getting this? It's very simple. So let's quickly jump over there and I'll show you. I already have my test email account open over here. And so what I'm going to do is go into the inbox and open up this message that we were looking at in the printout. Um, it's the same message. You're looking for this. That's the big secret. It's nothing more than that. It's right in front of us, but it's small. And it's a little picture of a printer and it's gray and small. I understand how people can miss it. And when you put your mouse over it, you'll see that it says print all. You want to go ahead and find that on your web page. And in Gmail, that's what it looks like. And that's where it is, at least right now. And you click on it. And when you do, it'll bring up the print dialog ready to print your web page. You also note that underneath it, it took your email message and it put it in a new tab and it's filled up the whole window. So this is a very different picture of what the email looks like. It's designed for printing out your email. Your printer is probably already going to be selected, whatever your default printer is. For me, I generate a lot of PDFs, so I have a PDF printer in there. But I can go ahead and pick my very favorite brother printer. And no, I have no relationship with brother, but I do like their laser printers. And this is a color laser printer. Love it and um, just print, you click OK, and you're going to get your printout. I'm going to click Cancel. When you're done with the printout, you can continue to look at your email if you want to, but you're probably done with it. So go ahead and click X on the tab, and that takes you back to your regular email within Gmail. Um, we can go back to your inbox and look at other messages, do whatever you want. So again, click on your email message, email message, and then look for this little printer right here. It's not the easiest thing to just jump out and get you, but there it is. Um, what do you want to do? What do you want to avoid? Okay, this is really important. This is why a lot of people get into the trouble they're in. Um, you don't want to do Control P. We're used to doing that. Um, and you don't want to go up to the menu here and find the print from the menu and click on that. Both of those are going to give you an undesirable picture. They're going to actually give you what you see here, which is a lot of junk all around your email message, and it's cutting off parts of it and stuff. So it's really best, if any web page you're on, to look closely for something that says print or it has a picture of a printer, because that's going to give you your best result. If you don't find that, then you have to use Control P or go up to the menu and try to do print that way. But a lot of times, if you hunt, you will find a printer on there, especially like on a newspaper or a website like that. All right, so back to Gmail for just a second. Um, 
there is a, another icon to the right of it that says in new window. And so that what happens when I click on that, it'll actually open up your email in its own window by itself. This can be really handy if you have a very complicated email, very long, and you really want to have a full space to be able to read it, just like you would if you printed it out. So I've done that right here. It's a separate window. You'll note the printer icon is on this page too. It's right there. It's very hard to see, but it's there. And if I hover over it, it says print all. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And again, here's the print dialog. You'll notice that the window has just been put to the back and it opened up that message in a new tab, just like it did before. I'm going to go ahead and cancel. I'm not going to print this out. Um, go ahead and close that out of the tab if you're done with it. And your message that's in its own window is still behind here. I'm going to close that out too. I don't need it either. Um, one thing you do need to note on both of these examples is if you're scrolling through your web, your um, email, you will notice that the printer is gone. You don't see it. I mean, it's there, but it's just off on the top. So that's another thing to remember is we'll always look for the printer, um, but it may, if you don't see it, you might have scrolled a little bit down on your page and you just need to scroll up to the top and then look a little closer. Um, the same would happen if you pop it out in this new window. The little printer icon is part of a scrolling page. So there it is right here. If I scroll, you'll see it goes right off. So you definitely want to look for that. You might have to scroll up to the top to make sure you can see it. And then you can click on it and you're good to go. All right, there we go. This back here, that there. So this has been David Ingalls. That's me from Ingalls Computer Services. I hope this tip has been helpful. And if you have a request for some other tips, then feel free to send them in to me. Subscribe to our video here, our uh, YouTube webpage. Go ahead and um, look for our newsletter if you want on our website. If you want, go ahead and contact us and we'll tell you more about our services that we provide to our clients to keep their computers running well and give them peace of mind. So that's it. Hope you have a good day.